Welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we're going to review our dinner with you. <laughs> yeah. We got a frozen meal from Bertoli. So we're going to cook that up and try it for you. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Bertoli's a pretty good company. Yeah. I mean, I know they're good. I, I know that we've had their sauce before. Yeah. And I feel like we've had maybe another one of uh, these meals before. This is a frozen dinner that you don't have to add anything to. Sometimes in these meals you have to add the protein or you yeah. have to add water or you have milk or whatever. whatever. This is all included. Just dump it in a pan and cook it. Um, you want to tell them what kind it is? Uh, this is chicken florentine and farfalle. So farfalle noodles with grilled white meat chicken and farm-grown spinach in a rich parmesan and white wine sauce. Sounds good yeah. to me. So I would say of the seven days of the week, we cook probably four or five. Yeah. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, probably closer to five, but you know, it depends on the week. And it depends on what we have. Because if I make a big thing of soup or a lasagna or something like that, we generally get at least two dinners out of it and, and, and several lunches, lunches yeah. or whatever. So it just kind of depends. But uh, so probably five days a week and then one to two days we do leftovers. And then the third day we, oh, well, sometimes some weeks we cook all the days with leftovers. So I would say this is maybe, this is, this kind of thing is a go-to every two to three weeks. And it's not even usually something like this. Our, if we're being honest, our usual go-to cheap, quick, like filming day convenience food is frozen pizza. Right. Yeah. And it's not every week. We film right now. Our schedule is we uh, generally film once during the week and then on the weekends too. So usually two days of filming. And on those days where we sit down and do six, seven, eight videos in a row. Now keep in mind... We also still have to take care of the yard and the house and our errands and we're right. trying to remodel and, and yeah, all of that stuff. And, yeah. So um, it's nice to have just a quick, we don't do it a lot, but it's nice to keep something like this in the freezer so that we have something to fall back on because there are times that we get full on eating potato chips and soda and chocolates and all, you know, all of the amazing treats and sweets and snacks that you guys send us, which is you know, we're so overwhelmed. It's amazing. Uh, but we have to eat some real food too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so uh, nobody feels like cooking at the end of one of those filming days. But um, so it's nice to have something like this on hand. And we thought, let's get something that we can review for you guys. Yep. Uh, and as Laura already mentioned, it's just to dump it in the pan. Uh, make sure you have a pan big enough. And it's about 14 minutes and it's done. Yeah. That's it. Has the sauce and everything already in it. Yeah. So we're going to go show you what it looks like as it's cooking and then we'll come back and try it. Smell good. All right, should we give it a try? Yeah, absolutely. I'm hungry. Me too. It's about 9:30 at night. This was a filming day, like yeah. we mentioned. So just sitting down to dinner. Sometimes people ask, you know, why we use paper plates or whatever. We don't always, but my gosh, when we're filming and stuff, it sure makes life a little bit easier. This is not bad at all. Mm -mm. The sauce is really good. 
I love spinach. Yeah, I love the spinach in it. The pasta, you know, in that 14 minutes, it's cooked perfectly. Yeah. Now, ordinarily, when we get something like this that's prepackaged, we tend to doctor it up a bit. Mm -hmm. um, but since we're doing a review, we wanted to try it just as it comes. I think it's fine just as it comes. Mm, um, I think it's good, too. What would I add to it now that I've had it? Um, I feel like I would do, like, artichoke hearts or um, maybe mushrooms or something. It doesn't need it, mm -mm. but um, I could see a different texture in there. Yeah, and, uh, you know, for a convenience meal, I could see... You know, not adding anything to it and just having it like this. Right. But yeah, it would be good with those things too. I also could see it with something crunchy, like, or uh, this is the kind of thing that I would really like a breadcrumb on. Mm. So, um, but it is good just as it is. Absolutely, it is. Yeah. The chicken, you know, it's a typical kind so, of processy chicken, but. Right. The flavor is good. I like it. So this was a family size bag. So we got these two bowls out of it and... Not much more else than that. So Yeah, it looked like a big, huge thing. Yeah. So John can maybe have seconds or maybe have lunch or whatever. Yeah, it there wasn't there wasn't as much in there as you would think it would be. Of course, it, when it's frozen, it's all like expanded, I guess. And once you right. cook it and, you know... Well, I'm like anything, if you buy a bag of chips... That's this big, and really, there's only this many chips in right. it. You know, it's kind of one of those things. But um, as far as convenience food goes, we don't eat a lot of it. But this is pretty good. Yeah, if you had a family of four, you're probably going to need two of them. Yeah. And I want to say it was probably about eight, almost nine dollars. So it's not cheap as far as convenience as far as convenience food goes. Because a frozen pizza would be cheaper than that, let's say. But um, eight or nine dollars for us to not have to really cook and worry about that, so that we can be free to film videos. Eight or nine dollars is totally worth it. Yeah, and it's I mean, it's. I mean, it tastes good. That's the thing, you know. It, um, but pasta dishes are, you know, you can make a fairly decent pasta dish pretty quickly and pretty a, a lot cheaper. Than buying the frozen sure. meal. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. But um, one thing is we didn't have a, a non-stick skillet that was big enough. We have this big kind of, you'll see, or you already saw it before, <laughs> before we came in here, but it did stick on the bottom of it. I sprayed it before putting it in there, but it's still stuck. So what are you going to do? You know? Yeah. They tell you to use yeah. non-stick. Yeah. But... yeah. 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 Anyway. There's a reason for that. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, good stuff. So we're going to go eat. We're done filming for the night. We have some exciting kind of videos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One of oh, them, yeah. I can see out of the corner of my eye, we have, <laughs> I, we never know the order of our videos, right? We're, we're right on the cusp, though, of what we think is really exciting gardening videos. We're not going to shift our focus to gardening, but we vegetable garden. We do some flowers, too, but we do herbs and vegetables and then we'll show you what we do with those for food you know yeah. obviously in you know food related so we'll be showing you that um definitely a ton of grilling oh on yeah on the way and some maybe taking some walks and showing you our neighborhood and we live on the missus we don't our house is not on the mississippi river but our town, our city, is on the Mississippi River, so we'll be showing you some of that. Lots yeah. of fun things planned. And as spring approaches, um, we have a surprising, scary, I don't know what you want to call it, first day of spring video. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's what I say is terrifying. I'm ready to have anything else in my mouth now. <laughs> Get <laughs> Wash the taste out of my mouth with this pasta. So... We appreciate you watching. Uh, subscribe if you're not already. Please. And make sure you hit the little bell Ding. so you're notified when our new videos do go up. Uh, come find us on social media. A lot of you already have, which is so fun for We're us. everywhere. Love and junk, just like we are here, except for Instagram. Love and junk, no D. Now, if you like taking a night off of cooking, I mean, there's some cooking involved. 
but it's heating up, right? It's yeah. reheating. It's, you, you know. Dump it in. I set it for timer for seven minutes, came back, stirred it up, seven set it for another minutes, seven minutes, and it was, it was done. done. So if you like, uh, you know, quick and easy dinner, no chopping, no mess, no, you know, yeah. one pan is nice. Um, Bertoli, pasta, or us, or the video, give this video a big thumbs up. That's all we have for today. We will see you back tomorrow. That's it, guys. I'm going to eat. <laughs>